Hi guys, it's Mark here from uh, Sea Wild Earth and I just want to do this short um, tutorial uh, just to show people who are getting into time-lapse uh, photography um, when you're when it comes to your editing once you've got your time-lapse sequences together um, just another way of adding a little bit of dynamic to them if you don't own uh, any motion control equipment uh, but you want to create mo movement, slight movement, subtle movements um, into your final images or final sequences um, there is a quick and easy way of doing that with uh, I, I generally tend to use Final Cut Pro so here we are here I'm going to create a new uh, a new title a new project uh, su pseudo time lapse okay let's create that new uh, project motion to okay now on that I'm going to do a custom setting of 1080p, um, 1920, 1080, 30 frames a second. Okay, uh, audio. I'm not really too worried about that because we're not really going to put any audio on it. Um, but okay, so we've got that new uh, project going there. I now want to get a couple of uh, clips, um, and what I'm going to do. This is the key. Um, is I'm going to import um, two clips that were shot and the two master clips which are let me just get the other one where's the other one Yokohama static there we are four okay cool okay here's my two clips okay I've got my Yokohama static clip here I'll be up there let me just what I normally generally or what I tend to do um, when I'm working on something that's just a standard um, tutorial I always put these little buffers in left and right okay uh, let's just might get down here a little bit just a second long fine okay now let's just get one of these clips onto the timeline and I'll show you exactly what I mean let's just get that down a little bit okay now the reason why it needs to be rendered which is indicated by this orange line here um, is for the fact that this is a 4k master okay and what I've done when I created my project which is created in 1080p um, which is standard high definition as it were as opposed to ultra high definition of 4k um, so what has to happen now is that this as, as a 4k on a 1080p timeline has to render to conform to 1080p it means that there's a lot of information in this image um, so that image can be expanded and reduced and whatever and, and, and it won't really lose any uh, too much of its quality which works into our hands with regards to this procedure I'm just going to lay this other clip next to it so that we can have both of the clips on the timeline I'm going to copy this little slug here copy let's go to the end there paste that in there okay so now we've got a slug at each end it's just my personal preference but anyway here are the like the first the first clip it's just a static cityscape uh, that I shot uh, a few days ago Yokohama City uh, from a vantage point in Yokohama Bay um, cool you know but very still you know there's no additional dynamic other than it's there okay um, so what I can do with this if I want to do if I want to create something that's a little bit more dynamic movement I've got the I've got the luxury of being of, of having this clip at 4k okay so what I can do um, I can highlight the clip itself by using the clip highlight box here and up here you'll see that we've got scale okay now the scale is the size is 100 percent at the moment let's say i want to make it about 130 percent okay so that shows you how big it is there and now what i want to do okay from about let's say we start at two seconds in we're a second there so let's say if we go to three seconds okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that here that in the middle there now when we work with um, lateral movement this is the X and the Y axis so you can see up here my position X changes if I move that you can see it there going up and down okay 
I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And on my position, that is going to be a keyframe. Boom. And now, if I then go to this point here in the, in the main timeline sequence, and if I drag this, I'm going to put a keyframe there, and I'm going to drag this over here. Okay, and I think you've got the idea of what's going to happen is when we eventually then run that back, we have to let it render. We haven't lost too much detail. Uh, there was only water at the foreground and obviously sky at the top. Um, but what we've actually now in effect done, if we come out of there and go fit, I'll show you what we've done when it finishes rendering. It's just coming up to rendering there. Sorry, it's a, a bit of an old computer, but uh, we'll get there just now. Okay. And by hitting run, there you go. We've actually got a panning motion without having to buy all of the expensive panning gear. How cool is that? Okay, now another thing that we can do, another way of, of, of capitalizing on that um, is by zooming. And we can, the, the, again, the luxury we've got is that the resolution of these images is so big that it, we're not going to take get any um, loss in image quality if we stay within certain boundaries of, of enlarging the image, as it were. So let's say that this is our first frame of this clip. We're going to have that on a scale this time because we're going to zoom in. That is our first keyframe. Let's say we want to get to this point here. And by the time we get to that point, we want to have the image let's say it well, 150 percent okay and so on the same working on the same uh, you can see what's going to happen and if we want to then create the added dynamic of joining those two together we can put a little cross dissolve between the two, create transition, okay let's just wait for that to render, okay almost rendering and then if we run the whole sequence once it's finished rendering, again sorry for my slow computer, here we go so now we've got those we took those two static sequences and we've added this added dynamic just by playing with the uh, the resolutions and the timeline with uh, very little amount of quality loss in the final product okay and there you go is your transition and there is your slow creep in throughout the duration of that transition day to night which I think looks pretty damn special so there you go easy time lapse easy motion cheers for checking it out